It can be difficult to show that air has mass. A good way to show that air has mass is to add air to a container and then compare the mass of the empty container to the mass of the container that is filled with air. It would be easy to use an empty balloon as this container. However, if you use an empty balloon then fill it with air, you are also going to change the pressure and the volume of the balloon. It is best to limit the number of variables in an experiment, so the challenge would be to find a container that will not increase in volume as we add air to the container. This is an SCBA. You'll often see firefighters wearing it. Here you can see the cylinder on the firefighter's back. SCBA stands for Self-Contained Breathing Apparatus. This cylinder is filled with compressed air. The cylinder remains rigid and does not expand in size. That cylinder is then used by the firefighter to breathe fresh air, even when in a dangerous situation like a fire or a smoky situation. Here you can see the cylinder being placed on a medical scale. This is the full cylinder and the weight is approximately 12 pounds. It's a little bit over 12 pounds as you can see here. A completely full cylinder. Here you can see the pressure gauge is at about 3,500 psi. That's pounds per square inch. I open the valve. That's a hissing noise you sound. That's the air escaping from the cylinder. Now as the air escapes, I leave the cylinder on the balance, and now I need to continuously adjust the balance as the weight of the cylinder changes. See the pressure has dropped in the cylinder, now the pressure is 3000 psi, previously it was 3500 psi. Now let's take a look at the current weight, now you can see that the weight has dropped down to 11 pounds. Time goes by, let's release some more air. Now the weight has dropped down to a little bit, about 10 and a half pounds. And now check this out. This is a neat thing to see. I notice that there is some frost starting to form on the outside of the cylinder. Now the, the weight of the cylinder has actually dropped down slightly below 10 pounds. It's a pretty steady drop, getting lighter and lighter. Checking the pressure gauge, we're at about 1,000, 1,000 PSI. Remember, we started at close to 4,000 PSI. Again, more frost is forming on the outside. As we go further and further into this, more and more frost is starting to form on the cylinder. It's all empty. It's all empty. Hold on, don't kick it. No, 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 don't touch it. Let's take a look at the weight now. The final weight is approximately eight and one quarter pound. Now, the full cylinder original weight was 12 and one eighth pound. If we subtract the two values, we find out that the air that was in the cylinder had a weight of three and five eighths pounds. That's actually kind of a lot. That was actually even more than I expected. And a real neat result is if you take a look at all the frost that formed on the outside of the canister, you probably have experienced something like this. Like if you've ever sprayed a can of hairspray or Axe and kept spraying a lot of it, you notice that the can starts to feel quite cold. Hope you join us on our next episode. Special thanks to WTFB. It was an honor serving with you. Be careful, kids.